Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Let's talk about our cost of living adjustment, effectively our pay raise for the different monetary benefits that we receive. Now, this could be your VA compensation, could be dependency indemnity compensation, could be Social Security benefits. There's a whole host of things that are impacted by the cost of living adjustment, COLA, effectively that pay raise uh, that we all uh, look forward to. Now, look, it's a double-edged sword. It means that inflation's going up, so the cost of things is more, and so it's just trying to offset that. So really, you're not winning, right? You're you're trying to stay afloat, and quite frankly, the line between the difference of the cost of living adjustment and the true inflation are on two different trajectories, and quite frankly, again, the more time has gone by, the bigger the deficit, in my opinion, uh, has become. And that's the same kind of viewpoint that the Senior Citizens League has as well. With any case, let's jump into this uh, new projection on COLA and uh, give you the data. As the CPI data just came out. Hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I truly appreciate it. All right, so the May 2024 Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, the CPIW, uh, which is the indice that's used within the big CPI stuff. Uh, it's the indice that's used to calculate COLA. So this was released June 12th and was uh, 308.163, 2.3% above the fiscal year 2024 baseline of 301.236. Uh, the June figures, uh, which that's the month we're in now, the June figures will be announced uh, in the middle of July, uh, July 11th, in fact. So remember that the CPIW figures from the end of this fiscal year, July, August, and September of 2024, will be compared to the fiscal year 2024 COLA baseline to calculate the 2025 COLA. So that's how that works. And then just for, I guess, giggles before we jump into the article, uh, January um, uh, release or, or uh, the change in inflation, uh, January of this year uh, was below the 2023. Then it was about the same in February. Then uh, we moved past it in March, April, and May's numbers. So it's it's interesting to see it wasn't as big as a tick uh upward this time so i'm curious to see what sort of uh, information we'll get with regard to the projection here or forecast so with that let's jump into this article it is 401k specialist uh is the uh, name of the um publication that has this article so 2025 social security cola forecasts recede slightly predictions for next year's raise decline for the first time this year based in today's inflation data so again the difference between this year last year for lack of a better way of putting it uh last month was like this the month before was like that this month's data that was reported was just a tiny bit so because it was a tiny bit it uh, it moved it downward so I'm curious to see where they land let's find out as we approach the first month where cons let's start that over just to make sure that I got that right as we approach the first month where consumer price index inflation data will really count okay approach we're still not in it because the first month is July so July August and September we're close we are talking about May's data. We're in June, so we're getting close to where it's really going to uh, be the rubber meets the road. But again, like I've always said, this is enough information to give us some trajectory, right? Uh, a pulse on the markets, if you will. All right, so as we approach the first month where consumer price index inflation data will really count, the two primary monthly forecasts for 2025, Social Security cost of living adjustment and by default veterans, adjustment both backed their predictions down slightly based on the CPI data released this morning. Retired and now independent Social Security and Medicare policy analyst Mary Johnson, who was with the Senior Citizen League for, for a while, said this morning that the COLA for 2025 could be 3% based on the latest inflation data through May 2024. 
As the rate of inflation moderates, the Bureau of Labor Statistics announced that inflation as measured by the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, which is used to calculate the annual COLA, was 3.3% higher than a year ago. The Senior Citizens League this morning lowered its 2025 COLA projection slightly, saying its model points to a substantially lower COLA for the next for next year after the 3.2% COLA for 2024. The 2025 COLA prediction is about 2.57% down from 2.66% last month, said the Senior Citizens League's Social Security and Medicare statistician, Alex Moore, managing partner at Blacksmith Professional Services. This year's COLA will be important because many seniors said it didn't keep up with their real life expenses last year. Among the roughly 1,550 participants in the Senior Citizens League's 2024 senior survey, 69% said their household costs rose faster than COLA last year. The costs for food and housing leading the way. The fact is that COLA have become less and less likely to keep up with inflation over time, the Senior Citizens League said in a press release this morning. Just one of the five COLAs implemented so far in the 2020s, 20% has outpaced inflation compared to 40% in the 2010s and 60% in the 2000s and 1990s. TLC, the TSCL, the Senior Citizens League, put it this way in its press release. What's worse, when COLAs fall short, it can leave seniors thousands of dollars behind what they expected from Social Security. This is mainly because a COLA shortfall has a long-lasting cumulative effect. For example, imagine getting a $1,000 monthly Social Security check in the first years of retirement. You get a 4% COLA and inflation is 5%. Now your check is 1040 but it should be 1050 Then the following year, the COLA and inflation are both 5%, and your check is now 1092 but it should be $1,102.50, an even bigger gap than the year before. Compounds this across, compound this across 12 checks a year over a 25 to 30 year retirement, and the numbers start adding up quickly. It's like compound interest only not working for you, working against you, uh, is my add in there. The, the Senior Citizens League senior survey found that about half of retirees dipped into emergency savings over last year, while a third had visited a food pantry or applied for SNAP benefits food stamps to put dinner on the table. A quarter have depleted a retirement or savings account to zero. The Senior Citizens League estimates Social Security benefits have lost about 36% of their buying power since 2000 due to higher real estate costs, or sorry, excuse me, higher real costs for retirees compound, uh, compared to what is tracked by the CPIW. CPIW not accurately tracking senior spending. Now, before I read this part, there have been two pieces of legislation recently that were introduced, both one on the House, one on the Senate, that call for the utilization of the CPIE, that is the Consumer Price Index for Elderly, to more appropriately track the spending of elderly, which is primarily the biggest uh, uh, group of folks that are receiving Social Security and uh, impacted by COLA. And so the argument is, is that that should be used uh, to calculate COLAs, the cost of living adjustment. Um, and, and looking back in time, it would have warranted approximately a quarter percent or 25 basis point difference in adjustments on an upward trend. Uh, and remember, it's kind of like that compound interest thing. So, you know, if you add a quarter percent higher that year, then you're adding a quarter percent higher the next year and a quarter percent higher the next year, you're getting a bigger increase each time. So anyway, let's jump back into this. CPIW not accurately tracking senior spending. Johnson, long known for her COLA forecasts, 
uh, that are now independent after retiring from the Senior Citizens League last year brought her predictions for next year's adjustment down to 3% from 3.2% last month. A stark contrast as her forecast have been rising through the first four months of the year. Her previous estimates have gone from 1.4 in January to 1.75 in February, then 2.4% in March, 3% in April, and 3.2% in May. Uh, how well does the estimate really affect the typical rising cost of older consumers in 2024? Johnson said the answer has to do with a portion of income that older consumers spend on things like housing, groceries, and medical costs. She notes the CPIW can undercount when compared to spending patterns of older consumer price index for the elderly, the CPIE, which means it can sub uh, subsequently underpay Social Security recipients. The CPIW, which is used to calculate the COLA, assumes that older adults spend about two-thirds of their income on housing, food, and medical costs. In reality, older consumers spend about three-quarters of their income on these costs, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics expenditure weights. This disparity suggests that my COLA estimate, which is based on the CPIW, may be undercounting real senior inflation by more than 10%, Johnson said. Per this morning's monthly press release from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the CPIW increased 3.3% over the last 12 months. For the month of May, the index decreased 0.1% prior to seasonal adjustment. The CPI for all urban consumers, the CPIU, was unchanged in May on a seasonal adjusted basis after rising 0.3% in April over the last 12 months. The broader all items index has also increased 3.3% before seasonal adjustment. Today's new report is being interpreted as a sign that inflation is cooling again and it could influence Federal Reserve officials as they set out a future path for interest rates. This, after initial projections from experts for a steep decline in inflation in 2024, have needed revision since the start of the year. Starting in July, the CPI figures will actually begin to impact what the 2025 COLA ends up being. The official 2025 COLA will be calculated based on the average rate of inflation using the CPIW during the third quarter, July, August, and September of this year. It's the last fiscal quarter. Uh, which is uh, compared against the third quarter from the prior year, calendar year, that final official Social Security COLA raise for next year is expected to be announced on October 10th, 2024. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.